you have to tell it where to go or no? Um, no. Here I get higher on rugs, better suction. Yeah. It really protects dirt there, oh my god. What's up you guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're talking about the iRobot Roombas. They've been around for quite a long time, you guys. This is my Dirt Devil, is it called? No, Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog. Look at how dirty that is. This thing has been beat, I mean kicked. Animals have attacked it. It's, you know, gone through the, it's gone through hell and back, you guys, and it's about 10 years old now, and it still works today. It survived. It's actually out here in the garage. I'm going to clean it up so I can uh, use it for some um, some other stuff, I guess. Like what other stuff? Huh? Like what other stuff? Well, when I get a really bad mess and I don't want to use the new Roomba, I'll use this one mm. to suck it up. This is more of a hard surface. I don't know that they make this one anymore, and this was one of their lower end uh you know, entry level ones to get into, but it was one of the greatest ones ever, you know? Now, you guys, they've come out with the Roomba 980. I have some cool stuff here in my pocket, which I'll show you, which is basically their top of the line Roomba robot. Uh, basically, this thing is awesome, you guys. I love it, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I've been using it now for about a month, and uh, some of the features that it does and what it can do is pretty awesome. It works on both carpet and hardwoods. Uh, it basically has a camera in it. The camera is used for detecting mode, like to detect where it is in the house. It avoids obstacles. And the greatest thing is, is when you're done, I will show you on the screen back there, is it shows you a map exactly of where it cleaned. Everything is done from the app. It's worked via Wi-Fi. I could be in China and connect here and this thing will clean my house. How long or, would it take really quick to clean your house? It takes about an hour and a half to do all the floors once, but then I might do it twice sometimes. Even though it does a good okay. job on the first time, I, you know, I've just been really playing with it. Uh, you know, the cool thing about it is when you pick it up, there's a handle right here. On the back, you just click a button and the dustbin comes out. And this is the dustbin right here. It's got a little filter in it. You open it up, dump it into the uh, garbage. It has a uh, sensor on it, so when it gets full, it uh, shut, tells you, hey, I'm full. Do you want me to stop, go home? And it, the cool thing about it is it always returns to its home base, which is right here. So if you have your home base, you have it in a certain area, it will always come back. Even if it's like five rooms away, it always tends to make it back. Uh, I took it upstairs for the carpet leaves awesome lines on the carpet, you guys. Like a maid was just there. I mean, I thought it was really awesome uh, for that. Very, very happy. What about you? Mate? Yeah, I'm asking you, what do you think of it? I think, personally, I think it's more of a novelty item. I don't know, what do they run? Roughly? Uh, I don't know what they run roughly, let's see. Like, I don't think in my home this thing would last more than a week. I don't think it would do a good job, personally. I got two kids, I got hardwood, I got carpet, I got rugs. I just don't think something like this would be Why for would the it average. Last? I got kids. We got so much mess, so much stuff. Plus, Dude. with the kids running around with the, just the hardwood going over the rugs, going over the carpet. I don't know. I just think that's my personal opinion. I've never used one, so I can't say whether it's good or not. I would be more... Eric, I don't know. this would be perfect for your household. As long as you know when it's not perfect huh? is when you have tons of stuff on the floor that you don't want to pick up. And that we don't. I don't have a lot of stuff on there. I mean, we've got a lot of crumbs because I got two, I got an eight-year-old and a six-year-old, so I got stuff over the floor all the time. You know. I can honestly tell you guys, my house has never been so clean since I've got this Roomba. Um, you know, I could put it on a schedule to run every day if you want, but usually I just run it myself. Like I'll get up in the morning, get ready to go out. You know, as soon as I'm done, hit clean, and when I come home, my house is super clean. I can, you know, if something happens to it, it gets jammed or something like that, mm -hmm. it'll text me and say, hey, the thing's jammed, and it'll shut itself down. 
Uh, only one issue I have with it, it has what's called cliff sensors on it. And here, I'll turn it on right now and you guys can see what those are. It's so it doesn't fly downstairs. <laughs> As it goes off. <laughs> right, it's not gonna go off. So as you can see, it's on this little table. It's not gonna fall off this table. It has cliff sensors on it. I think the sensor thing's pretty cool. How it doesn't do that. But. Yeah, and I mean, it really works good. It doesn't fall down. But I have this, is that mine? I think that's mine. Oh. I have this rug in my hallway that has grooves in it. Yeah. And sometimes it works really nice over it. And sometimes it detects it as a cliff and freaks out. So that's, oh, that's gotcha, the only gotcha. issue I've had with it. Uh, which is normal, you know, you're gonna get something like that. It has these, it comes with these two uh, barriers, they're called, I guess they call them. And uh, you can either set them to a circle mode, which is like your pet dishes, your water, you don't want this thing bumping into it. So you'll put them right there and it'll create like a two foot ring around that where this thing will not go. Oh, that's go. a cool idea, yeah. Yeah, or let's say you don't wanna go in the bedroom, you can put it in wall mode and put it like right across the doorway and this thing will not pass that line. And it goes up to like 10 feet or something like that. Sorry about that background, you guys. I'm sorry, what did you say this thing costs roughly? Um, let's see. And is this the only model they have or do they have different versions? No, they have different versions, different, let's see, we're gonna go to the Roomba shop. They even have one that mops floors, which is awesome. So the, this one right here is the Wi-Fi Connected 980. It's about 900 bucks, 899. And I know what you guys are saying, wow, that's a lot. I could get a really nice Dyson for that. You can get a real nice vacuum, yeah. But I guarantee you, this is gonna clean better. Why? Because it's cleaning so. every day. I'm, yeah, okay. I doubt it. I'm just saying, that's just my okay. personal opinion. Okay, well, okay, Mr. Negative. Um, I'm not negative, but a thousand, for me, a thousand dollars spending well, on that. Well, then don't spend a thousand dollars. You get one into for 374. And what's the difference? Just you don't get all the the features of the you know Wi-Fi, the app, and all that. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You know, but. Honestly, you guys, I'm a huge fan of these robots, and I'm telling you, they even when I bought mine earlier in the when they first came out, they just work. They get it done. They're great. There's a lot of knockoffs out there. You could get, you know, on Amazon or whatever. There's knockoffs that work pretty good too. But this is the original iRobot. I mean, just the quality of this thing is just amazing to me. Um, if you lift it up here, here's the hole underneath. This one, it's a little louder because it has a vacuum, you know, it's not, it's way less noise than a regular vacuum. Uh, my animals don't seem to be bothered by it, but uh, it will turn on loud if it detects more dirt. It has like some- So where's it sucking up from? Right here, these two wheels. And this kind of just pushes the Yeah, stuff this gets the corners there. and pushes the stuff in there. So then this sucks up and if it detects more dirt, I don't know how it does it. I want to say it does it by like sound, like it sounds like a lot of oh, more stuff you, in there. Okay. And it, it kicks up the, to the high RPM. Or not high RPM, but high suction, whatever. The two wheels on the side have good traction. Uh, this is your color wheel. This is how it tells that it's moving. Here's your cliff sensors. Obviously, it's gonna need maintenance now and then. Quick cleaning, quick wipe down, wipe down the sensors, stuff like that. Um, and you know what I like about this is it fits under things. It's amazing, that, like sometimes. Yeah, going to the couch, I think that's cool. Yeah. I would go and under I mean, the couch. when you have a wooden floor, and you have a couch, and look under, if you guys have a wooden floor, look under your couch. Oh, How, I, know. I mean, come on. I know. And I mean, Eric, you know, you think it's a gimmick and all that, but I do, you don't no, clean have, your house. We have a, well, no, I don't. Right, but, uh, your wife does. I, yeah. So if you give something like this to your wife, she's gonna be like, oh my God. I just, with, with our house, I don't think this thing would last, personally. Like last but out, it's I gonna break. I think it's cool, like you said, because I know like we have wood floors, you have a couch under there, and I always see dust. There's dust under there a lot, you know? Yeah, and the beauty of this is it gets under the couch, and that's what's awesome yeah, about it. Yeah, that's cool. You just click it, it's like the Ronco thing. Set it and forget it. Remember that? Ronco. The Ronco rotisserie. Oh yeah, right? Yeah. Ooh, I so, go for some chicken. What? <laughs> Chicken's good. I All right, know. zoom in on the screen. Let's show this thing in action. All right, you guys, here we are. The app, how much more simple can it be? You're gonna kick, click clean, the unit's gonna go start cleaning. You could stop it at any time. You could send it home at any time, okay? On the lower left here, we have our cleaning preferences. We have carpet boost. Right now it's set to automatic. When it hits carpet, a rug, it's gonna boost up its power to get better suction. And it's amazing how it works on carpet. I mean, I'm amazing. Cleaning passes, we can go into cleaning passes here. Automatic, one clean pass, two clean. You know what, it's pretty smart. I just let it do its own thing. Uh, here's a uh, finish cleaning when bin is full. So when it's full, are we done cleaning? Remember, we'll always finish its cleaning job even if the bin becomes full in the middle of a job. 
Edge Clean. For a complete cleaning, Roomba will seek out and clean along the walls. Does a great job at that. Okay, next thing down here is where it gets really cool. Since I've had the unit, it's done 26 jobs, a total of 11 hours. It's cleaned a total of 4,800 square feet, and the dirt detect is 23 events. That means it detected 23 really dirty situations where it's had to boost up. The last cleaning obviously was today. We canceled this one. We canceled, um, but I'm gonna go in back real fast. Oh, let me get back in there. And I'm, here's the very cool thing, right? I'm gonna click on this cleaning I did right here. Boom! That's a map of my house. We're here, you guys, in the garage. This is my hallway. This is my uh, kitchen area here. So, oh, that's the bathroom. Yeah, so it actually doesn't have the hallway. Yeah, you know what? Because I, I kept it out of the hallway because of those rugs, you're right. So there's the actual toilet and sink. You can see it in uh, white. Yeah. It didn't get around it. So I did my bathroom, went into my kitchen, went into my little area there, boom, into my living room, into my dining room. This right here is uh, a big closet. This right here is my dining room table. Then it went in here into my office. My desk is right here. Back into my bedroom. And in my bedroom, uh, that's actually my bed area here. So, and that's where it's docked. That's where it was last. That's where it went home. So, clean and complete. Very cool. I mean, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, that's a little too much information. They don't really care. They just want to get it clean. But that's when you could go down to the, you know, the more cost-effective units, you know, that are a little uh, less expensive. You know, for 374 you can get the, ro the robot th 650 right? So, I'll hit clean. Isn't that cool? And I'll stop it. So we'll stop it. We'll pause. So Roomba is paused. What do we want to do? Resume or end the job? We're going to click end the job. And now it didn't leave its dock, but if it left its dock, it would say, would you like to return home with this? Also, if you don't have your app on you, it's really simple, you guys. You have a clean button right here. Send it home. And I think this is for a targeted area. For, if, you know, the kids just spilled a bunch of Cheerios. There's crumbs. Like I'm it doesn't do wet. You can't do wet pickup. It's only no, dry. Okay. No. They do have ones that do uh, Oops, mopping sorry. and stuff like that. I think it's called the uh, Brava. It used to be called the Scuba back in the day. Um, but, you know, you guys, I mean, like I said, maybe Eric's not such a believer of this product, but he doesn't clean his house. Me, personally, it's one of the greatest things ever. I have a Dyson also. It's not that I've never I cleaned the, the house. Dyson. I clean the house, okay? I've done it, you know. Right. I just think with my situation, I don't think people like me that this right. would be. Right, there's a lot of people that, you know, you know be hoarders. They're not going to want this because well, it's not Well, not hoarder, gonna, yeah. You don't have any room on your floor if you're a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The cool thing is about this, this, this one, too, is it has a camera in it. <clears> and the camera actually detects objects, helps it move around. And one cool thing I, f I found out that is no matter where it is in the house, it will always find home. I've never had it not find home, which is crazy. Well, unless I pick it up, take it to a location, and hit clean, then it'll just stop anywhere. But if it leaves home, it's coming back to home. And the gotcha. cool thing about that is it charges. It charges up really fast. I don't know the time off the top of my head, but it's definitely more than enough time. What about runtime? With this battery, it's done every job. I can't tell you, you know, I, I can't tell you runtime. So it's got a good battery life. So yeah. Should, okay. And I mean, I got a big square footage on the main floor. Mm -hmm. So, and... It, it does it no problem. Very cool. You know? Very cool. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm very excited about it. I'm very liking it. I totally recommend it. And like Eric said, yeah, $900 for a vacuum is quite high. It might not be for you, but there's different levels of these vacuums you can get into. This is just the top of the line, the king. This is like, you know, the... I love it. It's just awesome. What do you think? Well, I told totally, you, I think it, I think it's cool. I mean, yeah, if I were to believe in it I would want to go with the the higher one because I like the fact that it does all that stuff you know yeah just and for it, me I'm just a little bit different consumer I guess right. I wouldn't don't believe in well, it well we're gonna make him believe because we're gonna take it over to his house and run it actually your kids will probably it might not survive his house the kids are gonna be like what the heck is that dad yeah. start whacking <laughs> it with baseball bats you know I mean if you got a busy traffic area and there's always people running around maybe it's not for you it's best to run this thing when you leave because then you don't have to hear it, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, obviously at three in the morning, you don't want this thing kicking off and running through your house. <laughs> the side of the bed. Right, no, but it's like, yeah. here's the thing, like, okay, like, like my girlfriend, she's always over here. And it's like, 
you know, oh my God, we got to clean up because Eric's coming over. We got to clean the house. And it's like, what? I don't clean, you know, because Eric's coming. And she's like, I do. All she has to do is hit clean. And now she's just taking away the vacuuming part. She can work on other areas of the house. And, you know, I'll be there scrubbing. So what you're saying is you're not cleaning the house either. Scrubbing the toilet with the toothbrush. Well, I clean the house. I do clean the house. I mean, I make a lot of mess here. So you guys, Roomba, what do you guys think? Comment below, let us know. Um, you know, they were the original people that came out with this. You know, like I said, there's always alternatives. There's always, you know, uh, knockoffs and stuff like that. But if you really want the quality product, you definitely got to stick with iRobot and Roomba. Uh, they used to have this thing called the Luge too. I wonder if they, oh, they still have it. Oh, that's a gutter cleaning thing. Yeah, right? do you have gutters? Mm -hmm. Do they get dirty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I got a pine tree, dude. Are you serious? I'm up there once a week. Okay, well, here, here's how we're going to make Eric believe. Let's get you a luge. Look at that. Waterproof, spray it. All you do is put it up there and it goes across the gutters and cleans it out. And it goes underneath the uh, brackets? Or how does that work with the brackets on the gutters? That's a good idea. I don't know. We'll have to watch. Um, I wonder how it does go under brackets. Do all gutters have brackets? Yeah, it yeah, looks. Shown. Yeah, there. Oh yeah, I guess it's low enough. Low it went under the brackets. Man, that's a dirty robot. Yeah, isn't it? You guys, comment below. Let us know what you guys think. Like I said, this is a highly recommended product. No, they did not pay me for this review, but I definitely am a huge fan, uh, especially since I've had my dirt dog forever. I love this thing, dude. Very cool. Very cool. It's very cool. Pretty awesome. So, tools next, you guys. Has ATA crew. Go over to Instagram. We always show stuff on Instagram that's not normally seen on the channel. Click subscribe. Click like. Share this with your friends. We give tons of stuff away. You guys are awesome. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.